Picture Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Maldita, ¿por qué? Whoa. I feel like I'm, honestly, I feel like, I feel like I'm swearing in Spanish. This is a really bad word in Spanish. It's like yeah, it, being damned. Being like, it's a, it's a cursing, but not yeah. really cursing. No, but it, it has like more of like a, it's not so much of the word per se, but the meaning behind it is like, like you're, loaded. you're cursed. Yeah, it's like you're, it's like you're like God has forsaken you no like a witch has put the spell on you and like you're, you're you like you're you're going to die you're cursed or you're yeah like, it's, it's you very will never loaded. fall in love you're cursed but yeah. it, it but back home it's a really uh like it's loaded yeah it's, it's, it's a lo yeah, it's a loaded word yeah so yeah anyways, so I, it's, I think like it's just it's the name bad. of the artist is it i i think so and the song is called Por Por qué? Qué, which means why, why in spanish now apparently this is in Chavacano? Yes, yes, apparently uh, so. Which is like a different version of Spanish, or maybe more Spanish than Spanish, or like an original version of Spanish. I yeah, this is like I don't know history. old and Spa like old Spa Spanish. Yeah, old Spanish. Um, but it it, it has also uh, a lot of like the Filipino uh, roots of the of the language itself. Of like of, or other dialects. No, no, no. The dialect of the island where where this is from. Oh. So because. Yeah, it's it's not the actual Filipino language. It's just like, specific to a specific yeah, it's, area. Yeah, it's in a specific area that speaks this oh, this sorry. dialect. Sorry for the long-winded intro, but yeah, sorry about that. Thought the context might be important. Yeah. Okay. Holding hands Ooh. with fans. Ultimate sign She's of affection. She's pretty. I like that. Uh, smoky eye look. It's just so old school. It feels like it does. It's like Camila's gonna come out and sing to me. Absolutely. Or sing banderas. I feel that. phrases there but then, song, right that was perfect no but that they like the whole, the whole first thing, like the whole first section of the chorus was like fluent spanish and then there were there were like mix of of the the the, the filipino dialect in there as well it was sure so this cool. is Chavacano. this is the song like because i know there's been a few yeah this is this is the oh, Chavacano right. song interesting because that kind of like just spanish spanish it's <laughs> spanish, <laughs> spanish doesn't it it's like that is it's so crazy. cool That's so interesting it's like us listening to Chad kind of the first time. Oh, wow. Contigo, but they kind of drag it a bit more. See, that's Filipino. Tagalog. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's Tagalog per se, but. So much catchy as hell. <laughs> it's dope. I like the acoustic feel of it all. Se 
clase de derecho? ¡Mueve su Remember that it's not actual Spanish. Yeah, so but I'm trying to decipher actual, what's what. Is, is there are actual words that are mixed, that they are not Spanish per and, se. And grammatically, it's also probably different. Absolutely. I think it's like, it, this is like a whole language. The, 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 weird, the weird thing is, is that a lot of it, the core of the language, it's, it still maintains... The, the sound, later yeah, on. the Spanish uh, grammar and sound to it all. Interesting. That's that's the interesting part of this. So is this? Yeah, can we, someone, so uh, someone who kind of knows, <laughs> not unlike us, dummies, but is this like a? Uh, did, did Tagalog come from Chavacano or was it more like, just people who lived in this island spoke that language, and and it, it's more like a dialect rather than his own language. Or I don't know if dialects count as a language. No, dialects are a ramification of. Of a language, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Well, that, that's at least how I studied it. So then when 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 it was like tribes in, in the Philippines, what was spoken then? Like each each area had its own uh, uh, language. Because like in Venezuela. And then the, the Hispanics came and then implemented their... their uh, language into the tribes and the tribes then adapted certain things into their own languages and then once they became colonized by spain who spoke spanish mm -hmm. but they spoke a different version of spanish as well didn't they it's well like, it's, it's the old like spanish. elden spanish yeah it's like shakespeare and english is the same oh, thing right, right. But it's, it's, yeah it just had it just had different um, Miguel, Miguel de Cervantes. yeah it's it's old and it's old in spanish okay so then they, obviously, I guess, like, that's the language now of the place because they became colonized by Spain. Yeah. But in different places, because everyone had different dialects, maybe they adapted Spanish differently. Exactly. That's why in Tagalog, you hear so many Spanish words that are written exactly the same or very similar or are phonetically the same because it's adapted from the Hispanic uh, uh, speaking language. And they adapted it to their own language too, oh. which became uh, it became the official language of the Philippines. Fucking hell. Well, I'd love to know more about this. If Me anyone too. would like to share that in the comments, and I'm sure other people that are watching that may not be from the Philippines may also benefit a bit. You know, like yeah, like me learning a bit of this from people that might be from there or know a bit what they're talking about, unlike me. <laughs> this is amazing, though. I really the song like is good. Song. I, I, yeah. I'm focused a bit too much on the language, but it's just really intriguing. But it is, it's so fascinating, yeah. though. I really enjoy it. <laughs> Those bracelets were such a thing. Pronounce the set as different. Damn. That it's like prohibited love. Happening. <laughs> that's a type of in your life type of love. Well, and that's how it finishes. That's a plot twist in how we, we just leave the love of our lives in, in like a basement tied up. That's how we're gonna roll about it's it. Because we probably don't understand the lyrics. There's probably no. little, little, uh, little uh, clues. So, so, you know? so like a little. 
Can anyone please explain? No, I'm language, confused. But the video. And, and this is very requested, and, I'm, and I can understand why. I, mean, very I really like it. when the band came in, though. Like, I, I felt like the band needed to come in a little sooner, though. Yeah, that's a type of, again, ruin my life type of love. Oh, it gives me paramour type <laughs> of vibes. Ruin my life, tie me up in a chair type of love. <laughs> <laughs> Here, anyway. I dedicate this song to you <laughs> until you watch the video. <laughs> It's like, oh my God. Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you'd like to support the podcast and reactions like uh, as such, this. um, you can get your merchandise, Future Friday merchandise. Uh, do check it out below. Uh, we did try the best we could to design uh, something that you'd feel awesome to wear and also it's good quality. So do check it out below. It's worldwide shipping. And uh, yeah, let us know if you do get it because we share people that buy it.